Today is Pokemon Day, and today we got our annual Pokemon Presents showcasing the future Pokemon games. And today, we got a look at a new game called Pokemon Legends ZA. Pokemon Legends ZA takes place inside the Kalos region, and more specifically, inside Lumio City. And unfortunately, that's all we know. But I have some thoughts and ideas, and I would like to share them with you. Now, as the trailer starts out, we see a red confidential stamp on what looks to be a notepad. And again, this gives total Legends Arceus vibes as well. Not just the old paper, but the font that was used at the bottom of the screen. And then this here tells me that we're going to be starting Lumio City from the ground up. It's not going to be a full Metroplex like we know it today. We are going to be watching Lumio City built, and we're probably going to play a pretty big role in Lumio City coming to life, which is what this trailer is showing. Clearly, none of this is game footage either, but the idea that we can see our future forward, creating the future Lumio City ourselves, it, it, that's extremely empowering. Watching all the Pokemon interacting with the people, watching the Fletchling fly right past the Prism Tower in the middle of, in the middle of the city, it, it's absolutely stunning. And there are a lot of things that this trailer doesn't show that we can infer will be a big part of the story. Zygarde will play a role as seen in the title sequence when the, when the title is shown on the screen. But what is the A referencing? And then the big bomb they dropped at the end of the trailer showcasing that Mega Evolution will be returning, which not only means that we'll be getting new Mega Evolutions, but that the old Mega Evolutions are also returning as well. I mean, come on, if they don't bring us new Megas, what, what, what's the point of the game, right? It's the best gimmick, and we need more. Gimme, 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 gimme. But I also wanted to bring forth a few other thoughts about this game. And and one big one is that AZ's Flowette, that we never got any story back behind, obviously shows that it is a paradox form of Flowette, and we will probably get that form of Flowette in this game and I believe AZ is going to play a pretty big part in it because he's a pretty big man. And if you didn't know from the original Pokemon X and Y, AZ was the tall figure that played a role in the story, but you never really knew much about him. And then at the end of the game, you had a, a quick little battle with him after becoming champion. And that was it. Another big part of this game that I don't think is being covered enough is the fact that this is in the past. And what happened in the past in Kalos? It was a thousand year war that took place between people and Pokemon. And now they're talking about living together in the city, coexisting. So I think this game is going to focus on ending the war, creating Lumio City, and creating that, that place that people and Pokemon can all coincide together. And after what we've seen with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I think it's pretty safe to say that AZ's Flowette is a Paradox Pokemon. We never got any further information with AZ's Floette, but it did have a higher stats than a regular Floette. And with the design and looking at what Paradox Pokemon are in the past, I think it's pretty safe to say that that is, in fact, a Paradox Floette. I think this is going to be an amazing game. And I don't think I realized how amazing it could be when I was giving my reaction live on stream because I was expecting a totally different experience. I was expecting Gen 2 or Gen 5 remakes. But after seeing all the evidence and, and seeing what the possibilities of this game could be, I think this is the best route Pokemon could have gone for a new game. So if you guys are hyped for Pokemon Legends ZA like I am, and do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the sub button, and join the Evolution Nation because we're going to be playing through this game right here on the channel when it launches next year. So thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys next time.